Hi, this is JP from Not Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another uh, Lord of the Rings LCG playthrough. And this time we are playing the Angmar Awakened uh, Hero Expansion starter decks, uh, the Dunedain and the Elves deck against the uh, Caves of Nibin Doom scenario, uh, which comes in the Dark of Mirkwood uh, expansion or, or the scenario pack rather. Um, I won't go into a long rant about why I'm playing and etc. I took a bit more in the last video, but uh, I am using the starter decks from the Angmar Awakened Hero expansion. So if you want to check out the decklist, just pause the video. Here are the cards you need to build the decks. So uh, all the cards you need are in the revised core set and the Angmar Awakened uh, deck. Or, or expansion. So uh, we uh, are we were successful in the old scenario and managed to beat that quite fast in only a, a, around an hour. I know this scenario is much longer, so this might be a long, a long haul to play. But we'll see how that goes. So let's get started. <laughs> Okay, and we are ready to start. So I have already done the setup for the scenario. So we have the Goblin Chieftain and the Cracked Pillar um, encounter cards set aside out of play. We also picked two locations, uh, two different locations from the encounter deck. We have the Collapsed Mine and Goblin Dungeon in play. So the Collapsed Mine says, while the Collapsed Mine is in the staging area, no more than four progress can be placed on the quest each round. And the Goblin Dungeon is a travel. Reveal the top card of the encounter deck to travel here. Response after the Goblin Dungeon leaves play as an explorer the location. The first player searches the top five cards of their deck for an ally and puts it in play under their control. Shuffle the others back into the deck. So we probably want to head into the Goblin Dungeon. We don't have to rush this first um, quest because we want to build up uh, a, a while before we start heading on because the rest of the scenario is quite like fast. So the, maybe the longest part is this first one. So uh, we'll start by drawing our opening hand. So uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So these are pre-shuffled and uh, we are again uh, looking with this deck for the um, Steward of Gondor, but alas, we didn't get it, and the hand is not that good either way. So we are going to mulligan, hope for the best. And uh, the Cave Torch is attached to uh, Halbarad, that is because uh, uh, I don't want to put it on Aragorn, because Aragorn would want to get both of the swords that are in the deck uh, onto him to be a really strong fighter. Oh yeah, and this needs to be flipped, so... So we need to uh, get 8 progress, and when reveal each player search the encounter deck, and this for a different location, adds them to the staging area, of the encounter deck, so I've already done that. We don't need to mind that anymore. And uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And let's hope for at least one. Sword of Condor, so Bairn, um, Ranger summons, Snowburn Scout, Ingold, uh, on a Horror of Rat and Steward of Condor for the last card. So we got lucky. And uh, I'll just place this over here. Events there and attachments there. Then uh, we'll go to the elves. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, nice. Those. I, I'll keep the whole hand because we want both of these right away. And uh, those helps us uh, draw more cards and get what we want from the encounter deck or the player deck rather. And we have a cheap ally, so that's a bonus. 
Okay, well, we are ready to start, so we'll go to the resource phase. We'll add resources, so one, two, three. One, two, three. And we draw card, so we get an attachment. And we get an uh, event, so we get the secret vigil and the hasty stroke. Uh, we start with the Dunedine, and uh, I will use uh, these two to play the Steward of Condor underneath Amartwil. And from now on, I will just add three resources uh, at the start of each round. Because I would do the action immediately when I have the chance. So now I'll do it, and I won't even pick the card because. Uh, it, it's fiddly and takes time to uh, readjust the cards all the time. So uh, if I mess up, I mess up, but that, that's life. So uh, we don't have any more resources to play any uh, any leadership cards. Oh, <laughs> actually we do. Sorry. Um, I'll play Snowborn Scout. And I think we'll be heading into the dungeon first, so I'll put one progress here. And that costs one. Then uh, we'll play Ranger Summons. So I'll set this card out of play. We'll shuffle one of these into the counter deck. So we have one of the Ranger of the North cards that are set aside out of play. In, in our encounter deck now, so if we draw that, it will help us along a bit, and hopefully, uh, okay. And that's everything we can play this round. Uh, with the Dunedain, we'll head to planning with the elves. So uh, I'll discard, get a resource on Arwen. Arwen will play the Silver Harp on Eowyn. Eowyn will play the Elven Light from my discard. And I'll draw a card. So we get another Hasty Stroke. And uh, I'll play Enmat River Song. And... Uh, That is it, so uh, I think we'll start questing then. Uh, before that, I'll. Okay. Mm. I'll check what cards are on here. Well, it's the Ranger of the North, so we don't want to discard that with the Cave Torch. So we'll skip the Cave Torch. Okay, uh, let's go questing. Um, the Dunedain won't quest, but the elves will, so I'll quest with everything on this side. Then uh, uh, let's draw cards. So we are, are 10 versus 5. So first encounter card is the Ranger of the North. I'll take it into play with the elves. And then we get this guy, so we're at 6 and it searches. Uh, so, uh, two, deal 2 damage to a character you control. Well, just take it with Aragorn. And uh, the second card for... So that was for the Dunedain and this for the Elves, so we get a cave troll. Well, of course. Uh, well, the cave troll is not the worst thing that could happen. I think we can uh, deal with that uh, a bit later, but for now, let's see. We were 10 against uh, 3, 5, 6, uh, 9, so we would advance 1. And we can only advance 4. So I'll discard the, this for... Uh, 
Arwen and I don't don't think we need honor of wrath just now so we'll go up by two we'll add so up, we are up by three so we'll add three progress here uh, we'll go to the travel phase uh, we'll go in to the goblin dungeon so reveal the top card and the deck to travel here and it is another enemy so we get the ca cavern warg so we're uh, getting a lot of enemies hopefully we can deal with those in some way so uh, these won't engage anything so or the well I will engage this one and this we skip so this goes here and we leave the troll for next round and Aragon will actually play this on to the warg so we get the secret vigil and the secret vigil attached to an enemy limit one per enemy attached enemy gets minus one threat response when attached enemy is destroyed reduce the player's threat by each player's threat by the attached enemy's printed threat value okay so we'll try to defeat this some way okay and uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, okay, so we'll go to the combat phase, or the that was the encounter phase. So the combat phase, we deal shadow cards over here, and we'll decide defenders first. So I'll defend. Uh, with Arantwil against this and uh, Har Barad will defend against this. Yeah. No. So uh, we'll defend with this one. Okay. And we'll start from here. So three against three, no shadow effect, no damage taken. Here, uh, shadow effect, if, if this attack is undefended, it isn't, so we skip that. And uh, then this uh, ally dies, we get to attack. So we'll attack with Aragorn and this enemy, kill this off. And we trigger this, so our threat lowers by two. Both sides. And that is end of the combat phase, but we destroyed an enemy. So we could grab the cave troll, and uh, that helps the questing next round. We would be engaging the cave troll anyway next round. So we'll take that, and we'll ready up. We'll go to the refresh phase. We add threat. We add threat. Ready up. Oh yeah, and uh, this actually has range, so could have, uh, we could have dealt. We actually could have defeated this guy with the ranger because it has range. So I'll go back and attack uh, with the ranger of the north. Yeah, this is the first time I have this in place. So when revealed, the first player choose the player to either deal two damage to an enemy or place two progress on a location. We'll actually place the damage. Oh no, there weren't those enemies in place. So we'll put progress on a location. We are progressing this goblin dungeon here. Yeah, read the cards. Okay, so. That is that round, let's go to the next round. Uh, one thing we forgot to do is to pass the first player token over. So, uh, we draw, go to the resource phase, we draw a card, another silver harp, that's good. Uh, we gain resources. One, two, three. And I'll just put the three here, and one, two here. 
and then we get cards for this time. Another steward of Gondor. Well, that's that's not that useful, but it is what it is. Okay, um, I think we try to take it slow. We'll uh, keep advancing these, get rid of the locations, and uh, start dealing damage to the cave troll somehow. Uh, I think Ingold will be sacrificed this round, but we'll see. So, um, I think we will discard, well, we'll play this from our discard, draw it into our hand, draw a card. Protector of Lorien, perfect, we'll, we would like to heal uh, Aragorn, but I'll put the Protector of Lorien onto Arwen. Then, don't need the silver harp this round, but actually we do. So I'll discard, but I won't. I'll use this silver harp. I'll get a resource on Arwen. I'll use two resources on Arwen to uh, play the silver harp on Arwen. Then I think that's everything. So. We'll go to the Dunedain, uh, we'll play in gold. Placed over here. Then... Uh, mm, the cave troll is quite beefy, but... Uh, oh yeah, it will destroy the progress. Okay, excess damage, so defense of one, so it's a couple of progress, that's okay. Uh, let's go to questing. Uh, we have an enemy, so we'll commit Harabad to questing. We'll commit uh, all of these. Uh, we'll save the Ranger of the North for fighting. Um, we are questing. 10, 11, 12 against 2. We get a warg, a wild warg, and we get a goblin sniper. So 6 against uh, 10, 13. Uh, we'll go 14, 15. Uh, I have to count so 4. Six. Don't need to even go that high. Just want to use those. And uh, that's enough to de uh, defeat this. So this leaves play with the first player is the elf. So one, two, three, four, five. Uh, we get the welling hall. Reserver cannot have a restricted attachments and there's play exhausted, so we'll just put that into play exhausted. Well, we found an end in the dungeon, so that's good. Then uh, uh, we put four here, that is the maximum we can put. Then we'll travel over. Uh, to collapse mine. So now we can put more progress on the uh, quest. And that's the questing done, travel done. We'll go to encounter phase. So I think we will let's see after this wild boar engages you, discard the top card of the encounter deck if that card is goblin and within. Engage with you. We can't afford to take it here, so we'll skip. And the uh, Dunedain will grab that. We'll check. It is unfortunately a goblin, so that comes into play. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, we'll have to make do. Okay. Mm. Let's see. We'll start the combating. So. Cave Troll 
I will defend with Ingold. Sorry, Ingold, you're dead. And uh, just put this so I don't forget. Then this war will I'll defend with Hara Alar Alda Barad. And this I'll defend with this. So we have enough to defeat the troll. So we have two, five, and we need six, so we don't have enough. Okay, so we'll we won't defend against this one. Okay, so we'll start from here. Uh, attacking, uh, attacking enemy gets plus one fight for each goblin enemy engaged with you. There are zero other. Well, it, there's only one, so uh, I'll take one damage. It was three versus three. Then we'll go over here. So nothing happens. Two damage. I'll just take it on her. Uh, Albarad. Then the troll uh, attacking enemy gets plus two. Mm, that's not good, but it is what it is. So six versus one is. Uh, five, seven, minus three is four, progress lost. And in gold is uh, destroyed. Okay. Mm. Then uh, we will attack the cave troll with Aragorn. This and the ranger from the north, which is uh, 2, 5, 6, 7 against. Oh, damn, it's defense of 4. Maybe we'll not kill that. We can kill the other two. Uh, defense of 3 against 7, so. Three, four, five, six, seven. That is not enough. Yeah, that that sucks. We really need one more hitter. Uh, well, I guess we'll defeat the work. So that takes three from Aragorn. We'll engage this guy. We'll hit it uh, with the ranger from the north. Then we will uh, deal two here. So we defeat these three enemies. We'll leave the troll alive for now. Uh, that is the combat done. So we're ready up. And yeah, uh, we'll add one threat here, one threat here. And uh, this moves here. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. Uh, we'll go to the resource space. So uh, I'll just put three here again. Uh, one here, one here. And one to the elves. Well, Elvin is not an elf, but well, it is the elves deck. Then we get cards. So uh, Lindor. Um, then Paint. Well, that's a lifesaver against the troll for this round. Okay. Uh, I think I'll go safe and check the top of the encounter deck. It is not a goblin, so we'll put uh, three progress on here. And discard this card. Uh, okay, well. I, I will do that in the. Uh, I'll, I'll do this <laughs> on the uh, planning phase and I'll do that on the questing phase. So, uh, that because we have to respect the order of play, unfortunately. So, uh, we don't play anything 
this round with the Gondorman or the Dunedain. Uh, we'll skip to the Elves. Uh, I will discard this to gain a resource. And uh, and and uh, we don't have that many urgent lore cards, so I'll place it on Arwen. And I'll heal one damage from Aragorn. No, uh, from here. Then uh, uh, let's see. We will go questing only with Eowyn this round. So we are four. Uh, we'll quest with. The preserver. So we're seven against zero, and uh, guilty conscience when revealed. Damn, we don't have anything. So this goes to the. Well, I'll just place it over here. No, over here. Search. Uh, collapse mine. And uh, first player that just this spell out placed over here. Oh, yeah, and this uh, also quest because it doesn't exhaust. Okay, so we have these attached here, them here, so I can remember them better. Okay, so uh, we are four, seven, nine against. Two, so seven. This is defeated, and four here. And we'll travel here, and uh, we'll go to combat phase. So luckily, no enemies came out, so we can deal with the troll piece. Uh, okay. Mm. Uh, at this point, I'll play this as an action uh, from my discard the Elven side. So I draw one card and get uh, an Autumn Tracker. We want to get that into play soon enough. And that is it. Uh, the cave. Great. Cave Troll will engage us, we, we won't defend, but we'll play Faint as a combat action. Uh, so it won't attack, we won't deal a Shadow card to it. Then we'll attack it. So it has de defense of 3. So 3, 6, 8. And we have to do this so 10 so we defeat it but we reveal the top card of the encounter deck it's not a uh, we when revealed uh, each player must exhaust the character and discard the top card of their deck if able if the printed cost of the discarded card is equal to or higher than the remaining hit points on of the exhausted character discard the exhausted character uh, we can't well uh, yeah we'll exhaust this no, we'll just discard. It is a one, so nothing gets discarded. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and this was stupid. We could have just exhausted something else entirely okay well uh, the cave troll is defeated um, uh, we add threat so now we add two because of this 34 
set one. We ready up. Oh yeah, and this is why we revealed a card. Because the at that zero it wasn't exhausted. And uh, we ready the elves. And this goes here, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We go to the resource phase. So resources to the elves. To the Dunedine. And uh, let's see. I was hoping to play Bearn, but now Amart will doesn't have the tactics here of influence. But yeah, uh, we'll discard a card. We'll use the Silver Hub to ignore the discard and get one resource on Arwen. Use four to play Northern Tracker. We still need to draw cards. Yeah, so we'll draw one. Or oh, not there, but here. Okay, uh, really need allies on this side. Okay, scooch this over a bit. So we play the Northern Tracker. So after Northern Tracker commits to a quest, place one progress token on each location in the staging area. So that's really good for this scenario later on, uh, so we try to hold on to that tracker. Then um, we'll go questing uh, let's see, what do we, do we want to do? Oh yeah, um, we have played everything we want, but we'll heal one damage from here, or actually, the check one damage off of our own. No, we'll keep it safe, like so. Then uh, we'll use two resources to remove this. We don't play anything else this round, and uh. Uh, we go from here, nothing to play. I will go to questing, so questing it. I will quest with these two and this. Actually, that could fight, so. Oh, how much do we need? We need only. Okay, we need six. Uh, I'll check the top card from here. It is not an enemy, so we'll uh, exhaust the torch to place three progress on this. And discard this. And uh, now we need four. So that is. Uh, that is uh, four, six. Seven, eight, nine. And count the cards. Uh, search doomed. That to uh, threat. We won't take resources. I think we're fine without. And search. It is uh, goblin sniper and goblin tunnels. Okay. Um, we get four from there, so four, and uh, we have seven, eight, nine, ten against four. That's enough. We'll hit this one, and we'll advance this one. So, uh, when revealed, add Goblin Chieftain to the staging area in spare sets, then counter deck and discard out for a different enemy of their choice and add it to the staging area, shuffle then counter deck. 
So this enters the staging area. Uh, insert for enemies, so... I'll take these easy ones that... Because they are not revealed, they are just placed to the uh, search and placed into play, so... I'll get, grab two of those. Uh, they need to be different. Yeah. Different enemy. We can handle this one. Oh yeah, this is the discard, we don't need to shuffle, so this enter the staging area. Okay. So the staging area is crowded with enemies now. So surprise attack and uh, during the encounter phase, defeat each enemy's engagement cost as if it were zero. So everything engages us. This stage gets plus four quest points for each enemy in play. And the Goblin Chieftain is an XXX. Uh, X is the stage number of the quest. Cannot take damage, cannot have uh, attachments. Force after Goblin Chieftain attacks, either remove X progress from the quest or return it to the staging area. Well, whoop de doo. The good thing is we'll get burn in play next one, definitely, but we'll see, so engage, uh, we'll travel here. Okay. Then we'll get to grab some enemies, so... I think we'll have to take the chief then on this side. It's not that beefy, but we want to be able to defeat as many enemies on this side. Then mm, we'll grab this here. This goes here. This goes here. Okay. Let's start. Okay. Thank God we have the descendant of kings in hand because now we can defend and ready. So, deal some shadow cards here. First off, uh, we'll defend uh, with Arwen. Against the Goblin Chieftain. Uh, cancel all combat damage dealt to attacking enemy this round. Well, we can't damage it, so haha. Then uh, we'll just take this damage, and it is one, so we'll just put one on Glor Indel. Then. Uh, Let's see. Uh, over here, uh, we'll defend with Aragorn. So all of these are Dunedain. So Aragorn defends against this one. We take one damage. That's okay. And uh, we'll defend the, with this. Uh, actually, we'll defend that with that, and that this with this, so... Okay, so we won't make any combat damage on this, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, we'll play this, then ready each Dunedain character you control, so we can't affect this side of the board. So the Dunedain here are upright already. So, um... 
I think these two will just drop this. Then we will uh, over here deal three damage here, deal three damage here, and grab this over here and ready up. Well, that went pretty well. And we had threat one here, one here, and this goes to the Dunedain. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We had resources in the resource phase, so three, one, two, one, one, one. Uh, we draw cards, so we get a hasty stroke. <laughs> okay, so many hasty strokes. So, oh yeah, uh, we played one hasty stroke last round to cancel the one we stopped the damage on the goblin sniper. So, with that, we can kill it. I just uh, forgot it in the moment, but remembered it now. And we get one card here, which is faint, which is good. Uh, first thing, we now can use Amartuil's resources as tactics. So we play Bearn. So Bearn uh, has the action Bearn gains plus one fight fight until the end of the phase. At the end of the phase, if it's you trigger this effect, shuffle Bearn back into your deck. So Bearn will definitely be dealing a lot of damage to the Goblin Chieftain at the end of the scenario. We still have Burning Blade then. Okay, and uh, well, um, that's everything the Dunedain will play. We'll go to the Elves. First off, I will gain a resource. I'll uh, discard this for real this time. I'll heal one damage off of here, off of uh, Aragorn. Then uh, we will actually, yeah, well, we'll play the Elven Chiller, but we'll play it by discarding uh, two cards from our hand rather than using resources. And I'll use the silver harps. Then I'll do it the same again. So the silver harps are used, but uh, we'll get two jewelers in play by discarding cards. Then uh, we'll just spend these three to put Linder into play. So we have a lot of allies on this side of the board. Do stuff now. Um, we'll go to the quest phase. So I'll quest uh, with all of these one, two, three. Four, five. Uh, so ten, twelve, uh, fourteen, eight, uh, seventeen. 18, 19. Uh, we'll check the top card here. Okay, we'll use the torch. Place three here. Okay, that's everything we want to do on this side. Keep this just in case we want to. Maybe we don't need Arwen this round. Okay, so um, we are two, so nine, ten, eleven, fourteen, sixteen against zero. That sounds like a good deal. Encounter cards, and uh, yeah, encounter cards. It is. Uh, Caven, Warg, 
and uh, lost in the dark. The player who controls cave swords must choose either exhaust cave or frog is gonna be placed on the first on the end of this. Well, that sucks. Uh, fortunately, we don't have a test of wheel in hand for this, and we use the cave torch. So, well, uh, that just okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll cancel the cave torch because it's pointless. Now we'll exhaust the cave torch. So we discard a card, and it is not a goblin. So, yeah, just to not make this uh, like a marathon video, I'll, <laughs> I'll do some backsies here to progress this and get some here. So we, we were, so it was two against one, two, three, four, uh, eight, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16 against 2, so 7, 16 against 2, so we place 9 onto this, it is enough to advance it. And uh, we'll advance it. So, the chasm, when revealed, the set, set Goblin Chieftain aside out of play, add Crackular to the staging area. And forced, uh, reveal an additional encounter card during the quest phase. Uh, progress cannot be placed on Crack Pillar while it is in the staging area. After Crack Pillar leaves play as an expert location, advance to stage 4A. So we get the Crack Pillar into the staging area. And uh, this goes away. And. Uh, Now we'll go to the enemy phase, so I'll just grab this here and we'll defend with this shadow card. Okay, we'll see what happens. Uh, shadow, if it's uh, it's not undefended, so nothing happens. So three against three, nothing happens. Beorn and Aragorn will defeat this enemy. And uh, I think that is it. Actually, let's not overkill it. I'm using... Bairn and the ranger from the north to defeat that, and these two will attack. We don't need to even kill it this round. Let's just hit the pillar. So Bairn will hit this for two damage, and these two and the ranger from the north will hit that. So we deal five there, so we can. Uh, move, uh, travel there next round, which will speed up the game uh, quite a bit. So, we ready up. Oh yeah, uh, check. No enemy. So, oh yeah, we get this into play. Goblin dungeon. Oh damn. Ready up everything. Next round we need to quest like a madman to get rid of the pillar. Or actually we just need to travel there and... Yeah. And uh, we add threat here. 37, uh, 34... And this goes to the elf, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add resources. One, two, three. Three or over here, and one here, and one here. Just actually turn this to a three, turn this to a three. Ok, 
Okay, um, the elves. The elves want to do something, so I'll play uh, Elven Light from my discard. To a card. Do uh, we have any interesting cards in the discard? No. We'll discard to gain a resource. We'll play this from our discard. A card, forest snare. Well, we don't have resources to play it, so not not that useful. Uh, we'll heal one damage of, of Aragorn. Then uh, I think that's probably all we want to do. With the elves. Mm. Uh, did I even throw cards this round? No. So, okay, we got a test of will from the earlier, and uh, we get the veteran axeman. So, I'm pretty sure I forgot to draw cards because I didn't play faint last round. So, uh, the Dunedain will play. The uh, Dunedain will play this uh, duo veteran Axeman or Axehand, and that's everything. So we won't even quest because there's no point. So we, oh, we have to quest because otherwise. Let's check the top card here. It's a troll. We won't be using a torch. That's for sure. And uh, we are facing a troll, by the way. So <laughs> we have to think about that too. Mm. Okay. Well, uh, we will quest with all of this lot. So four, five, six. I'll quest it there. So seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, 11, okay, against 3, and we place one progress on each, but that can't get progress yet, so. Okay, and uh, we get the count cards, so we get 3 because of the quest. So, first is the cave troll. And now. Shuffle the encounter discard to the encounter deck. And we get Goblin Sniper. And we get Goblin Tunnels. So, uh, 3, 4, 5, uh, 8, 10, 12. I think we had 12 or something, so nothing happens. We'll travel uh, to the Cracked Pillar. And uh, then we will go fighting. Mm. So the cave troll will uh, come to the Dunedain, so I'll just grab it. And we have the faint, so no problem. This goes here. So I will just defend with Arwen. Hit with Glorfindel and this. But yeah, let's first see what happens. So nothing happens, so that's okay. Let's deal this here also. And resolve this. But yeah, this is defeated. Okay, and uh, we'll defend the cave troll with this axe. And uh, no shadow effect. This axe hand is removed. Oh, no, 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 back up, back up, back up. 
uh, I forgot I was going to play the faint. So we faint the troll. Like so. Then this hits and I'll defend with this. So uh, deal one damage to the defending character. So that, that takes one damage. And then we will destroy the troll. And do it with these. So three, six, eight against three. So that's five, six, seven. So the troll is defeated. And that's that. Be ready up. We'll keep the war uh, gates with us to be able to play stuff better with Umbrant will. So we add threat to the dials one here and one here, 38 and 35. This moves here. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add the resources again. So uh, we'll put three over here. One here and one here. And then Elves get resources. And uh, we draw cards. We get another attest of will. And uh, Ranger of Cardolan. So after you engage an enemy, if you control at least one Duneda and Hero, spend one resource to put the Ranger of Cardolan into play from your hand under your control at the end of, of the round. If Ranger of Cardolan is still in play, shuffle it into its owner's deck. Okay. That's good for the last round, I think. We try to defeat the uh, Goblin Chieftain as fast as possible. But for now, we have to quest like madmen to get past this. So, uh, let's think. Oh, we can actually play this, we have so many resources, so why not just, just play it? We need more allies. Okay. We'll go... Okay, let's see. Well, we'll discard this to gain a resource. Uh, we'll use a resource to play it from our discard and draw a card. Okay. Really would like to see one unexpected courage to pop up, but it is not meant to be apparently. Okay, and uh, we'll heal one damage from here. And we'll check the top card. It's not an enemy, so we can safely check or use the cave torch. So we use the cave torch to put three here. So uh, while Goblin Tunnels is in the staging area, it gains force after a Goblin is revealed from the encounter deck, remove one progress from the current quest. Well, it doesn't matter at this point. And to travel there, we need to do something. Well, we'll quest. So, uh, three, four, we keep Arben up. Seven, eight, uh, three, uh, seven, nine, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen, and that's it. So again, seventeen against five, and yeah, we used the torch, so this was discarded. So 
17 versus 5, 7, 9, <laughs> 13. So that's still enough. We advance this. And uh, we advance this. So, Outbreaker, so when we will add Goblin Chieftain to the staging area. Scooch this a bit here, and this comes into play. So, this stage cannot be defeated while Goblin Chieftain is in play. When this stage is defeated, the heroes rescue the captives, fulfilling their oaths, and the players win the game. And we need 8 progress on that. And uh, I think we got one that says, so this is a priority to get rid of, so we'll travel here. So now we don't, we can add more than four progress on the, onto the quest. Then uh, we'll get enemies. So encounter base, so we'll just take this here. And uh, that is all the enemies. We'll start by going. Uh, we'll uh, the Goblin Chieftain will be defended by this veteran here. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We can just grab it from the staging area with Aragorn, so... Yeah. And... Uh, we defend that with this. Uh, like so... Okay, and... Uh, we get shadow cards. Go with this first, so attacking enemy gets plus one fight for each coupling enemy we get reduced. It doesn't matter. This is pulverized either way. This goes back to the staging area. Then this and uh, no bad shadow effect, so he's good. And uh, we take one damage here. Okay. And then Aragorn will defeat this guy. We'll pull this back. Then uh, all of the rest will attack this guy. So three. Uh, we'll use the action here before that. So eight, eleven, uh, thirteen minus four is nine. That's enough. This is defeated. Goes here. And Baron goes away. And that is the round. We'll add threat. 39, 36. This goes here. We ready up. And next round we need to quest like crazy to get 8 here. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Uh, we add resources. 1, 2, 3. Put 3 here, 1, 2 here, and 1 here. Okay, and we draw cards. So, Faramir. Well, that's a good uh, a side for sore eyes and unexpected courage that's also good so the elf start I'll put this on Arwen I'll discard this to gain a resource play it draw a card another unexpected courage I'll place it over here then 
Uh, do we want to play anything else? No. We'll heal one damage from here. And, uh, yeah. We'll go to the Dun Dunada and we'll play Faramir. Like so. We'll go to questing. Uh, we'll quest with everything we got here. Everything. We we'll go here. Faramil will boost everything by one. Uh, we'll quest with everything. Like everything. Okay, so let's count. Uh, one, two, three. Okay, I'll, I'll count. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's ten from Faramil. Then. Uh, 1, 2, 5, 9, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So 31. I'll just do it like so, so I don't forget. 31. Also, uh, this is defeated. So, 31, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so another 8, so, so 37, uh, 39 against uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, deal 2 damage. Yeah, that guy takes two damage. No, uh, we'll... No, that's okay. And... Search to one. Yeah, well, we'll add one here, one here. And search... Uh, this comes into play. So, yeah, that's plenty. So, we put like... 30 over here. Or something like that. Something like that. Well, it doesn't matter. That's enough. We uh, managed to uh, complete that last quest, so we win the scenario. Uh, I played a test game of this and it took quite a lot longer. So this was a bit over an hour and uh, the test game took like two hours because I was really struggling in the midst of the campaign or, or the scenario but uh, lucky this was a quick run uh, this could drag on if you're really unlucky with the encounter deck and the way and the order of how everything comes out but uh, this time it went pretty smoothly the the middle part when you get the pillar is a bit fiddly because you basically uh, lose one round to uh, hit the pillar then you have to travel to the pillar then after that you get to uh, quest the pillar away or, or get it off and you can't use the torch for it because it's not a dark occasion so that, that's a bit annoying but when you get past that, it's pretty straightforward from that on, from there on. So take your time in the first uh, quest part 1A, or, or actually 1B. Then uh, the rest of the scenario will go smoothly if you're set up correctly and won't get really unlucky with the encounter deck. But that was the Angmar Awakened uh, Hero Starter decks against the. Uh, Caves of Nibin Doom. So, hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching, and until next time.